Hey, what's happening, moviegoers, and welcome back to another Wen3 Movie Reviews Classic Tuesdays. We had a bit of a schedule mishap last week, so we weren't able to do any reviews last week, but we're back, and that's all that matters. Today, the Classic Tuesday review is on... The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, which I know might still be out in a couple of theaters, but it's out to DVD as of today, which I'm looking forward to getting later on this afternoon. First aspect we're going to look at, at The Hobbit is the company. The company of uh, this journey is led by uh, uh, Thor Thorin. It's hard to pronounce, but anyways, this company is um, trying to reclaim the Misty Mountains, the, lo the Lone Mountains from the Dragon Smog, who is the main protagonist in this movie trilogy. And yes, it's going to be a movie trilogy. Now, um, a little history about the dwarves in this movie. Thorwin was the son of um, a dwarf who led the Led his pe the dwarf people to, um, sorry, I forget the name, but uh, Mori the mine to the mines of Moria, uh, and he eventually got killed by the white orc, and his father was the king under the mountain. As far as the dwarves are, the rightful king of the mountain, as far as the dwarves are concerned, and was very into gold and stuff. Other main characters that are part of the company are uh, this white bearded one, which is like the second in command of the dwarves, like advisor or something. And of course, Bilbo Baggins. Which I'm pretty sure it was Martin Freeman who plays him, the younger version of him. And of course, Gandalf the Grey, um, again portrayed by, I think it was Ian McKellen. Well, anyways. Uh, they meet along with some other, some other friends and foes alike. Yeah, uh, and now we're looking at the White Council, which is, at the time, completely filled up of uh, you know, their allies. Um, and yes, Sauron was a good guy once upon a time. He was deceived by the Necromancer, who I'm not sure if we're going to see that part, but the Necromancer actually turns out to be Sauron. So, anyways, part, members of the White Council include Sauron, Galadriel, um, the Elven King guy, uh, I forget his name, uh, this new wizard, Radagast the Brown, who is like a crazy woods hermit. Not exactly sure if he's a part, I assume that he's a part of the White Council. I won the other lesser wizards, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure. He's like a crazy lunatic, yeah, like completely cuckoo, a yeah, guy who just lost it, yeah, and decides to live in the woods and talk with animals and etc. But anyways, and of course Gandalf. And in this movie, there's a multitude of villains. As I said earlier, 
Smog the Dragon turns out to be the main villain of the trilogy. Though, in the first movie, An Unexpected Journey, he isn't really much seen. You see, like, a big cloud of black smoke coming towards the mountains and fire coming from it and stuff. In the beginning and at the very end, you see him um, waking up in his in the gold, which according to this movie, dragons are drawn to gold, so that's why he took over the mountain. And of course, you have the white orc who is looking to kill the son of his or his enemy, who he killed. Earlier in history, in this movie, but and even to and also in order to do that, he's willing to set out a bounty on Thirwin's head, a bounty that the Goblin King, the hideous, the completely made out of fat creature on the left, like seriously, his whole bot is like a huge. Think of fat. Like, fat. A huge beard made out of fat, huge belly made out of fat. Every part of his skin is made out of fat. Except for his eyes, which are also pretty bulging. So anyways, a... A bounty that the Goblin King, who they meet after they stumble down through a hole due to have in a cave that in which they took shelter from some giant st um, stone figures that were fighting against each other with huge stones. <coughs> and he recognizes Thurwin and is willing to accept the bounty if he can may capture him. If he can keep Thurwin captured, but Gandalf... Uh, of course, Rex excuses them. And meanwhile, um, oddly enough, this is also the part where we um, see Smeagol's origins uh, from before the adventures of the Lord of the Rings, during which he meets Bilbo in a cave, which happens to be yet another fall down through some sort of chasm in the Goblin King's lair. So you have goblins and golem alike. And of course, uh, golem being pretty quite hilarious as well. Talking to himself, answering himself in quite funny ways. But also, it adds on a creepy thing because... He is part of the bargain, but well, the bargain that he makes with Bilbo is that Bilbo can you know, win their game of riddles. <coughs> then Bilbo can go free, and Gollum will personally show him the way out, which Bilbo does. But Gollum realizes that the item that was in his pockets is. <laughs> was Gollum's precious, and decides to attack Bilbo anyways. And at that time, Bilbo discovers the invisible power of the One Ring. But if Bilbo were to, would have li would have lost, Gollum would eat him. Uh, oddly enough, Bilbo considers that a fair, a fair deal. <laughs> But, the location of Gollum's cave is kind of odd, as you would think, <coughs> of being on a whole other side of the mountain, and not anywhere near the Gollum King's lair. But, that's the way they chose it, and it's not much of a pall on the movie. <laughs> The next villain is the Necromancer, who is a rising enemy, who turns to, out to be Sauron. At this point in time, he is 
You can see him here as only as a shade. And he hasn't yet got in human form. Which he has at the, at the battle in the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring. So he's a rising threat. <coughs> the destination is the Lonely Mountains. Which you can see right there. And is where the Castle of Lonely Mountains is. And where this movie leaves off is after a flaming battle against the White Orc. They are rescued by Gandalf's eagles and taken to the Karak here. Where they will subsequently remain during the rest of the few minutes of the movie. Where, and it shows the eye of... Smog being opened, as in he's finally awaking. And the next movie, The Desolation of Smog, which will be coming out December 13th, I believe, uh, this year. It, to theaters is to pick out from somewhere around there. So on a rating scale, with one being poor, five being excellent, I would rate this movie solid five stars. One more thing before we go. Peter Jackson is going to be giving an insight into the Desolation of Smog, and you can ask him questions for a Q&A session. That's going to be happening, I think, the 24th of this month. And you can get a code to get into it if you purchase version of The Hobbit, I think, with ultraviolet digital copy. I think that might have to be this. I think that was the specification that I had to have. It was like 3D, Blu ray 3D, combo pack, Blu ray combo pack, DVD, DVD combo pack. Yeah. Uh, type uh, purchase of the movie and that will give you an access code to look in and we'll be certainly ever going to yeah, do a Tell News Wednesdays on uh, the sneak peek when the next Wednesday from when it from when it happens well thanks for tuning in yeah, um, and until next time, I'll catch you later, moviegoers. Bye.